Israel shouldn't be in occupation of another people, shouldn't be lording it over another people. But on the other hand, if Israel leaves the West Bank, it'll turn into another Gaza Strip. It'll turn into a Hamas-dominated area from which the Arabs will shoot rockets into Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. How do you get out of the West Bank if they don't want peace with you? This is the problem. Well, there were some rapes, very few. I mean, when you think of rape or whatever, Turkey and the Armenians or Russia and Germany, when at the end of World War II, you're talking about mass rape. Here, there are a few cases of rape. There were massacres. There were several dozen massacres, as there were incidentally massacres by Arabs of Jews in the 1948 war as well. Um, and there was transfer. There was a, essentially a driving out of a population and transferring it out of a country. These occurred. These are what uh, things which happened. Sure. I, I, th I think Ben Gurion supported transfer uh, of Arabs, some Arabs or all Arabs, out of parts of Palestine or all of Palestine in principle. There were 700,000 Jews by the end of 48. There were 700,000 Jews in Palestine. Arab refugees numbered 700,000. There were another 160,000 Arabs still living in Israel who became Israeli citizens in 1949. If you add the, the, the 700,000 Palestinians who became refugees and then you allow them back, you have 860,000 Arabs in the Jewish state, which has only 700,000 Jews. In other words, you turn the Jewish state instantly into an Arab majority state. Uh, if they act uh, as an enemy and try to destroy the Jewish state, uh, try to intercept, as I said, convoys on roads, and then uh, if Israel is under threat or under aggression at a at specific uh, point in time, uh, then there's a problem. They are a time bomb. 